Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 42 to 43. Let's go ahead and get started. So, ooh, okay. Episode 42. Yep. Oh. I knew it. The moment that bitch left home. I thought I was done with her forever. <laughs> and now with this ridiculous land deal. <sighs> Why? You look so much like him. It's basically a dead giveaway. <gasps> That's enough, Camilla. Uh, uh, meow. Uh, hmm? Is something wrong, Leon? Was that her husband? Oh. Why are you taking th these absurd measures just to avoid properly discussing this with Gwen? Half-sister. Enough with this. You know your relationship with Gwen isn't the issue here. I'm sure that if you just explained to her that the money is for our daughter's operation, she would understand. You know she would. Just talk to her? You're insane to think our relationship means we can just talk to each other. I can't believe you. Camilla, I would never, ever ask for her help. I am better than her. I am superior to her. If you aren't going to help me, I'll just do this all on my own terms. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm late. Is that it? Huh? It's not it. All right. Is it the abstinence? N not that either. Jeez. Originally, I was going to add more admin amendments. But I want you to decide yourself without any contracts. If you want to, me to be in your life... You already know my answer. The same goes for me. I hate how I can never stop overthinking things. But I'm glad. His own confidence makes me self-assured. Let's go. <sighs> but don't. By the way, your lawyer, Nana's right. Don't give in. Huh? Nana? Let's go. What was that about? On behalf of my secretary, I'm so sorry for ruining your clothes. It's no big deal, sir. If you say so. It's a great it's great to see you again, Lance. I was really convinced you'd be one of the first in your class to drop out. That's all thanks to you, sir. Naturally, I've always believed in your talent and intel intellect. <laughs> Look at you, a young professional on a quick path to success. Do it properly. <laughs> You are the one constantly telling me never to give up. Still, being on this path, it cost me a lot. Ah, oh, it's Lance. I don't think I properly introduced you. This is Lance, my childhood friend and attorney at law. It's nice to meet you. Hey, childhood friend. Maybe we can be friends? Tell, tell. Let's see how this custody situation shakes out first. Uh, <laughs> Hello, this way, please. Welcome back. Is everything all right now? Yeah. Yes, mostly. L uh, Leon, did you miss Daddy? I hate to admit it, but he's definitely the father. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Da? Da? 
Oh no, the baby wants him. Oh, that's some jealousy gonna be brewing. Leon, no, that's that's not. Oh, Leon, you betray me. I'm a duh. Gwen, you go on ahead. What do you mean by that? Mr. Attorney here and I need to talk about some things. Don't worry, it's not about any legalities. I just wanted to get to know him a little more since we're going to be friends and all. Oh. Let's go, buddy. Sup, Gareth? Let's go. What's your deal? Hey, is it true that you're childhood friends with Gwen? Yeah, I am. And what about it? What do you know about her family? Huh? Specific specifically, what do you know about her sister, Camilla? I'm worried she might be in danger. I need your help. To be continued. We miss you, Daddy! <laughs> All right, next one, next one. What's your deal? Okay. Hey, is it true that you're childhood friends with Gwen? Yeah, I am. And what about it? What do you know about her family? Huh? Specifically, what do you know about her sister, Camilla? I'm worried she might be in danger. I need your help. What do you mean by Gwen's in danger? So, you do know something about her half-sister, then? I'm her attorney. I'm not here to talk about her personal matters or share private information regarding my client. Aren't you concerned about her at all? Come on, Lance. I don't want to fight. Let's just get along. We're not on a first-name basis. I know a place where we can. Yes. He's gonna shake it out of him. Give him a couple drinks, loosen him up, make him talk a little. We're getting along. He's my new, uh, new drinking buddy. Uh, have a safe trip home. Uh, hey! Miss Gwen, is it okay that Sir Arthur is with your attorney? Where? I should go after them. I'm sure there's nothing to worry. It's already we're talking about. The men can talk and we can head home. Hello, baby. Episode 43. How well can you hold your alcohol? Telling you. Rolling up that sleeve. I don't know. Okay, look. Listen to me. <laughs> So this is just me. I don't know if other people out there, you know, if people who are into men, I am into men, uh, but I think it's so sexy when a man who's wearing a button up like what Arthur's wearing here and they roll up their sleeve. I think it's like, also if you guys want to read like Midnight Populand, there's a character in there, the main character uh, beside the girl named Tora and he's a buff like sun-kissed tan skin and he has long black hair and like hazel eyes golden eyes and when he wore one of his outfits and he rolled the sleeve and like you know he unbuttons and he's rolled the sleeve and you see like the veins and stuff that's just <laughs> choking on my own saliva but yeah i think it's so sexy when a guy does that well not all guys can pull it off well, okay? So there's guys who are trying to like woo. I seen like guys who try to woo my friends or like try to woo me and they try to like look sexy and stuff. They can't pull it off. It's just certain men with certain aesthetic or whatever can pull it off well. Like my person, he can do whatever and I just feel like, <laughs> hello daddy. <laughs> Okay, that's TMI. But yeah, I don't know. I think this this scene right here is very, very attractive. Man, it's felt like forever since I had a drink with someone my age. Every time I've gone out for a drink lately, it's been to woo some old businessman. You're making it sound shady with no context. 
I'm just saying we should drink to get to know each other a little better. Uh, stop making things weird out of context. What does a high up business exec want with me anyway? Must be nice, women like that sort of thing. Huh. Not really. Like I said, there's a lot of business dealings with old guys. And sometimes with intimidating women like my aunt. Being an attorney sounds way cooler though. Stop mocking me. I mean it. I admire people. Who got to where they are because they worked hard for it. Is it true that the bar is super duper hard? I've never been good at written exams. You can stop with the cheeky questioning now. Why? I really do just want to get to get along. Here, drink up. <laughs> and I don't want to get along. We don't even have anything in common. You think so? Whoa. Whoa, we're gulping that down. It must be really smooth. I mean, we both like when. A child? I met with a man she met on a cruise? The very same cruise I was supposed to go on with her. I always thought we'll end up together, no matter what. I didn't expect anything like this would ever happen. And this man, he makes it impossibly hard to hate him. It's obvious just how much he cares for Gwen. That's why I trust you to help me. I know you care for her too. Why? Did you have to appear in her life? I guess that cruise was just perfect timing. Lucky. <laughs> <clears throat> when we first met, we got along surprisingly well. To have such easygoing conversation, even I was shocked by it. No pressure to keep anything going or to impress. It was just fun. Uh let me rephrase my question then. Why did you reappear in her life? I'm such... I'm such you could have gotten any other woman in the world to go out with you. With your looks and personality and all. The answer for that should be obvious by now. Plus, we have a child together. I will take care of them both. I promise. I know this must be odd and even annoying if I look at it from your perspective, especially after leaving her alone for over a year. But, whoa, don't drink a lot at once. Go, go, go. I still don't like you, so don't get cocky, but... Starting by telling me why you believe her half-sister is involved in all of this. <laughs> all right. Right. Now. He's a lightweight. Wasn't that his second or third drink? Oh, great. Oh, man. Hello, Lance. Should I call an ambulance? <laughs> that was such a dad joke. Get out of here. That was so bad. Oh. Dang, we won't be able to see what happened next. I wonder how they're doing. Ding dong. Who might be? Th who might that be? It's already late. Yeah. Come on, Leon. Let's put you to bed. Ding dong. All right, all right. I'm coming. Ding dong. Ding dong. Sorry for the late visit. What? I really didn't expect him to be such a lightweight. <laughs> To be continued. The dad jokes. Yes, the dad jokes were so bad. Ambulance. <laughs> All right, guys. Ugh, not a bad cliffhanger. I just kind of wish, like, Arthur, just ask Lance the question, like, what do you know about this crazy sister? But nope, we gotta wait. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, check out my other reads, and I'll catch you guys next time.